Good day, dear students. I'm Teacher Blessing A. Jobson, and today we will be studying the Philippine Opera. But before that, let's first discuss the historical background of opera. So, what is an opera? The word opera means work. It is a dramatic story told through song and it is considered to be the most complete art form because it combines all the elements of art such as words, music, drama, and dance. The opera started in Italy more than 400 years ago during the Renaissance period. In Florence, Italy, a small group of artists, statesmen, writers, and musicians known as the Florentine Camerata decided to recreate the storytelling of Greek drama through music. And then enter Jacopo Pieri. So who is Jacopo Pieri? He is the one who composed Daphne in 1597 which many consider to be the first opera. From there, two types of opera began to emerge, the Opera Syria and the Opera Buffa. So what is Opera Syria? Opera Syria is the formal and dignified piece while the Opera Buffa are the comedies. Let's know more about opera by discussing the timeline of its history. First, let's have the Baroque era. One of the greatest composers of Italian Baroque era, opera, was a German who lived mo most of his life in London, and that is George Frederick Handel. This period also saw the rise of the castrati. What is a castrati? These are male singers who were castrated as boys to preserve their soprano voices. And what do we mean by castrated? Castrated means these are men or males whose testicles have been removed just to preserve their soprano voices. In the classical period, it is also known as the social movement or the enlightenment. From there, it has less elaborate musical forms and more realistic plots and a recreation against excessive vocal display. The ultimate classical opera composer was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He composed The Marriage of Figaro, a farce where servants ultimately outwit their aristocratic masters based on a play by a French writer. It's fast, irreverent, and funny, but also full of stunning music. Mozart was also a master of high drama, as seen in his masterpiece Don Giovanni. The opera continued to flourish and got bigger, louder, and longer during the Romantic period. The Grand Opera was suddenly all the rage. And one important style during this time was the Italian bel canto movement. And this means beautiful singing, which was all about vocal brilliance and ornamentation bolstered by a simpler, harmonic structure. In the 19th century, the best known opera of all time is composed by Georges Bizet, entitled Carmen. Carmen is the story of a gypsy woman who values her free-spirited life above all, and the soldier who becomes obsessed with her is packed with catchy melodies. In the 19th century, it was dominated by two giants, Italian Giuseppe Verdi and German Richard Wagner, both born in 1813. La Traviata was composed by Verdi, and this 
opera tells the story of Violetta, a beautiful courtesan who is fatally ill with tuberculosis. In the 20th century, it was dominated by another Italian with a fluent gift for melody, and that is Giacomo Puccini. Giacomo Puccini wrote hugely popular works in the Italian grand opera tradition, usually featuring the tragic death of the heroine with a new emphasis on realism, known as Verissimo, including La Boheme, Tosca, Madame Butterfly, and Turandot. So what are the elements of an opera? First is music. So why is music an element of the opera? type of dramatic story and it is more exciting and more believable with the help of music so in an opera the lines are sung instead of spoken the characters express their thoughts and feelings in song rather than speech because the music is continuous in an opera it also needs to flow from one section to the next and that is done with the help of an orchestra under music we have the overture what is an overture it is an instrumental opening to the most of the operas the word comes from the french word for opening why opening because Overture opens the show. Overtures usually have tunes which are going to be heard during the opera or ballet. In this way, it prepares the audience for what is to come. Let's listen to one example of an overture. Do you feel like it's opening the show? Yes! So that is an example of an overture. Under the element of music, we have the musical themes. The, there are four types of musical forms Composers used to help them describe how characters are feeling during the course. So the first one is the recitative. So what is a recitative? A recitative is a narrative talk singing with the emphasis on the words to move the storyline along. Please take note that recitative are not songs with memorable melodies and rich accompaniment but more like a spoken line put to a simple one note repeated melody to say something important that is happening in the plot of the opera so let's listen to one example of a recitative Oh, 
sai che il tutto circa il tutto miri dagli stellanti giri dimmi so that is a recitative next musical theme is the aria so what is an aria it is a reflective song with melody and accompaniment that portrays the feelings of the characters more than the plot development and please take note that aria are the memorable me songs with rich melodies and accompaniments that emphasize the feelings and expressions of the character rather than the storyline itself and this is the most important part of the opera let's now listen to one example of an aria <laughs> So that is an aria. These are memorable songs with rich melodies and accompaniment. So what is the difference between recitative and aria? So an aria is a musical piece written typically for a solo voice with orchestral accompaniment. And these are the memorable songs with rich melodies and accompaniment, while recitative is a dialogue. It is reproduced with the rhythms of normal speech, often with simple musical accompaniment or harpsichord continuum. And these are not songs with memorable melodies and rich accompaniment. next musical theme is the ensemble it is a piece that is sung by two or more characters at the same time usually duet for two characters trio for three characters quartet for four characters let's listen to one example of an ensemble So that is an example of an ensemble. Next musical theme is the chorus. Chorus provides the background music for the aria, recitative and ensemble. 
chorus is a group of people singing together in parts or in unison. Next element of opera is the drama. In an opera, there is a protagonist and antagonist. The actors that portray these roles must be very good at both singing and acting. The primary roles of an opera is called the principals. These may be heroes, heroines, villains, or other strong characters. These roles are sung by the more experienced artists who have already made a name for themselves in small roles. Next is the Comprimarius. These are the secondary roles of an opera. Comprimario roles are often confidantes, maids, servants, messengers, or medical personnel. They are usually sung by younger or lesser known artists. Similar to a play, opera tells a story that is divided into acts and scenes. Each scene is further divided into numbers, each representing a different musical form. Aria, recitative, chorus number, or ensemble. In contrast to plays, the text is written with the intention of being accompanied by music. And the text in an opera is called libretto. And the artist who arranges the text of a story to fit the accompanying music is called Libretist. Next element of the opera is the to the Philippine Opera. of the 19th century, the Sarzuela, a traditional Spanish one-act comic opera with satirical theme and the vaudeville, a stage show consisting of various acts such as singing, dancing, and comedy, became famous and prominent among the Filipinos. These were shown and performed at town fiestas where Filipino viewers go eagerly from different parts of the province so as not to miss the stage plays. The Spanish operata or musical comedy introduced by a pol political deportee from Spain, Don Narciso de Escosora at Teatro de Benondo or Castellano in 1848, was given impetus by Don Alejandro Cobero the father of Spanish Charzuela in the Philippines, at Teatro Filipino on Calle Echague. 
The Tagalog Sarsuela found a home at Teatro Zorilla, the only surviving 19th century theater located at the corner of Calle San Pedro, now Evangelista, and abbreviated the Irish, which formed part of Calle Ascaraga, now Recto. It provided ready material for the nascent Filipino silent motion. Opera House. The Manila Grand Opera House was the country's most popular theater in the 1900s. Built on the corner of Doroteo Jose and Avenida, formerly the Metro Center of Entertainment. Next is the Metropolitan Theater or MET. La Cambini by Patricio Mariano was a stage at the Metropolitan Theater on December 19, 1933. As a Filipino nationalist, revolutionary, pundit, poet, playwright, dramatist, short story writer, novelist, journalist, violinist, and painter. Mariano was a Katipunan member. He was the son of Pedro Nilo Mariano and Junisha Geronimo. We have Bonifacio Abdon. So who is Bonifacio Abdon? He is a Filipino composer, conductor, and violin teacher. At an early age, he studied solfege, composition, conducting, and violin with Ladislao Bonus. He played the violin in the Rizal Orchestra in his youth and in 1910, he founded the Oriental Orchestra. In the 1920s, he conducted many zarzuelas and operas. Dr. Ramon Javier Who is Dr. Ramon Javier? He is the first Filipino opera impresario who promoted local talents to participate in foreign productions. What do we mean by impresario? It is from the Italian word impresa, meaning an enterprise or undertaking. It is a person who organizes and often finances concerts, plays, or operas, performing a role in stage arts that is similar to that of a film or television producer. Imelda Marcos Imelda Marcos, or First Lady Imelda Marcos, established the Cultural Center of the Philippines in 1969. And this center, Cultural Center of the Philippines, paved the way for other Filipino operas to be staged at a legitimate venue of international standard. 
We also have the operatic divas. First, we have the Mercedes Matia Santiago. She was born on March 4, 1910 in the city of Cavite. Matias grew up surrounded by music and she and her family regularly attended performances in Manila Grand Opera House. With this inspiration, she showed early promise as a soprano. As a matter of fact, she portrayed the role as Lucia in Gaetano Donizetti's Lucia di la Memor. Next diva is Jovito Fuentes. Jovito Fuentes is one of the greatest Filipino vocal talents, national artist for music, and the first Filipino international star in the world of opera. She was born on February 15, 1895, and she was exposed to music at the age of 5. She learned to sing habaneras and dances. During her school vacations, she organized the showing of sarsuelas and operatas with friends and neighbors. I'm Nolly Metanghere. Let's now watch El Filibusterismo. <laughs> So those were excerpts from Noli Metanghere and El Folibusterismo. So the themes of the 20th century Philippine opera is all about love of country and longing for independence from colonial rule. The Philippine opera serves as the voice of the Filipinos during these times. Opera teaches tolerance and understanding of culture, develops an appreciation for the arts, involves all learning styles, and stimulates the imagination. And through the multimedia forms such as radio, television, video, recordings, we still get the chance to listen to the works of our national composers, lyricists, storytellers, and performers. We understand and value our culture by exposing ourselves to this kind of platforms. Art forms. Let's now proceed to the assessment. What was the title of the first written opera? A. La Orfeo by Monteverdi B. 
Daphne by Hakua Popieri. C. Eurydice by Caccini. Number 2. It is a musical piece written typically for a solo voice with orchestral accompaniment. These are the memorable songs with rich melodies and accompaniment. A. Aria B. Recitative C. Contra Alto Number 3 It is considered to be the most complete art form combining all the elements of art such as words, music, drama, and dance. A. Drama B. Opera C. Music Number 4 It is a narrative talk singing with the emphasis on the words to move the storyline along. And these are not songs with memorable melodies and rich accompaniment. A. Ensemble B. Aria C. Recitative Number 5. He composed the first opera in its history entitled Daphne. A. Jose Rizal B. Jacopo Pieri C. Claudio Monteverdi Number 6. What was the title of the first Filipino opera by Pedro Paterno? A. Sandogong Panaginip B. La Lobra Negra C. La Donna e Mobile Number 7. This was established by Imelda Marcos in 1969 that paved the way for other Filipino operas to be staged at a legitimate venue of international standard. A. Zorilla Theater B. Metropolitan Theater C. Cultural Center of the Philippines Number 8. What do you call the primary roles of an opera? These roles are sung by the more experienced artists who have already made a name for themselves in smaller, smaller roles. A. Principals B. Comprimarios C. Counter Tenors 9. What do you call the text of an opera? A. Librettist B. Libretto C. Recitative 10. She was one of the greatest Filipino vocal talents and was also the first Filipino international star in the world of opera. A. Nelia Manalo B. Jovita Fentes and C. Mercedes Matias Santiago What is the difference between watching a live performance and a recorded performance of opera? Next question. From our discussion, what was your favorite part and why? For your performance task, select one aria from our discussion and perform it together with the members of your family. So these are the suggested arias. La Lobra Negra, Napakahaba ng Gabi, No Limitang Here, Awit ng Gabi ni Sisa, Mozart, The Magic Flute, Queen of the Night. Number 2, add choreography or some simple movements or actions to interpret the aria. Number 3, the use of an instrument as accompaniment is allowed. 
And number four, wear an improvised costume if appropriate. And this will be the basis of your grade. For the song interpretation, five points if it you if you interpret the song with actions, facial expressions, and emotions. Interprets the song selected with limited actions, facial expressions, and emotions. That is four points. Interprets the song selected with no actions, facial expressions, and emotions. That is three points. For the family involvement, involves all the family members present in the activity. That is five points. Involves most of the family members present in the activity for points. Involves one to non-family members present in the activity. Three points. And two points, no family members were involved. So that is all for the Philippine Opera. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.